My uncle sold his truck for $100. We drove to Tampa, Florida, got lost. Started the street team, got fired a couple times, maybe three or four times to be honest, for a while, maybe for one to bring me back. Each one of those times, when they could have easily let me go the first time, they gave me an opportunity. They gave me life. The experience that I've gotten here working at Wild 94.1 is lifetime experience that I do not mind sharing with anybody. My name is Buck Wheat. I do the Nut House, three to seven, Monday through Friday. You can call me the party starter. You can call me the host of Tampa. You can call me a lot of things, but at the end of the day, I'm known for Buck Wheat on air. So growing up as a kid, one of my classmates, Michael Steve, dad worked in radio. He was a jock. As a field trip for him and his friends, we went to the radio station to go visit him. I was probably about the age of seven or eight. So when I walked into the studio, you know, as a kid, you'd be like, oh, this is cool. This is what you actually hear on the radio. You see the behind the scene action. So I was like, man, this would be cool to have a job in radio. I remember the one thing that he said is like, hey, someday you could be on radio. My dad and his brother had a gospel group. So I've always been a part of music, singing, at people's weddings or singing at people's funerals or just singing in the, in the church choir, leading songs and whatnot. I played the drum in church, sung in a choir. So my cousin called me up. He said, hey, you want to uh, move to Tampa, Florida? I had this barbecue, job, barbecue shop named Jazzy's Barbecue. So I was like, I ain't doing nothing. I'm back at my mom and daddy's house. Let's go. As I'm working at the barbecue spot, listening to this radio station called Wild 94.1. I mean, Wild 98.7. So I'm like, oh, this is a cool station. I start going out to the club scene, met this chick named Red Dawn. Hey, hyped me up with these little kids. And as I did that, he was like, man, I like your energy. You should actually come try out for the radio station, do like an internship. And Big Mama at the point looked at me, he was like, mm, I know what I'm calling you. Keep in mind, at that point I had hair. <laughs> and now that I got a gap, and he's like, I know exactly what I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Buckwheat. And I've been doing Buckwheat ever since day one. Started learning how to do the board, doing the broadcast, I ended up doing the late night shift, doing call-ins, and got better at that whole situation. So I was doing Blue Cross Blue Shield, working on the street team at the same time. Needless to say, some of the times I was late at my regular job, which I should have been more focused on, but I wasn't, because I really wanted the street team life. And uh, basically, I ended up letting go of uh, the Blue Cross Blue Shield job, because I got fired from there too, because I was coming in late. <laughs> uh, there was a couple times I didn't show up, but then that ended up giving me more hours to work at Wild 98.7 that time. So from doing the Wild, Big Mama and the Wild Bunch, I then with Third Leg Greg, I forgot about Third, Third Leg Greg and the Wild Bunch, and then into the Nut House. All right, dude, so you know the deal on this, right? Uh-huh. Neither one of us should not say 98.7 right now. 94.1. That's what we're If you slip up, I, I'm not worried about me. Full on. Hey. Everything you got. Because you know you're going to be Tighten one of the best Because I'm coming way like this. All right. All right. What's going on? You're chilling with the Nut House. Nut House. Point. Uh, uh. We just said it too, boy. I knew you was going to slip up. This is just too easy. Too easy. The thing about the Nut House is it's been through a lot of jocks. And for it to be me in the beginning and still be it at the end. Now we're doing evenings right now at Wild 94 1 from 3 to, t uh, 3 to 7 with Steph. So we're in the Nut House now. Man, you just got two homeboys that's just talking trash. It's just like you and your homeboys talking trash on the basketball court. It's two homeboys in a, in a bar looking at these chicks, trying to like, who's going to make the move first? Like that we're just talking on the radio. I mean, we are the voice that come out of the speaker box into your ear holes. So that is me. Oh, Tay Tay Tay, drinking on that lacquer. All of those little things that you hear, that is me on the nut house. Where I'm at right now, I'm cool with a lot of artists that I've met through Wild 94.1, and I'm cool with Jason Dorello. I'm cool with Keenan. Uh, Yaz, who came through the station recently, Seven, who's from Polk County. These relationships with artists that we all watch are here on TV, on the radio, and then for me to work at WOW, to bring it all together and know these artists on a, on a personal level, it's a great opportunity, and, and, and WOW 94 one or WOW 90.7 did that. To move from Dallas, Texas, to Tampa, to see the first Last Down Show, to be a part of Last Down Show, or the return of Last Down Show, go from being a new station to still being one of the hottest stations in the city right now. You guys will never understand, watching Wild 94 one and being a part of it is a great feeling, and it'll be never nothing like this ever in my life. I am Buckwheat. I am the host of the city. I am happiness. I am Wild 94 one